August sings like a laugh caught in sleep. She's the last bow before summer closes the show curtains, before the autumn drapes everything in scarlet and bronze. August is the clover dress slope and the sky flashing golden teeth. Just as one eye closes below the hill line, the other opens, full and illuminated above the willow trees. Where the geese begin to notice the smaller changes, more wind in the grass, less heat on the pond, August lives. August always has her palms open and skyward. Every morning a lesson, each nightfall a promise. And in the cicada tune, the river sigh, August tilts her head, starbound. There is a deep inhale, and then, by degrees, and in wheat silk, arrives the death of September's hands, taking August by her own. With the dark clouds looking down on the willow grove, August lays her tired body in the tall grass. In September, brushing fingers over sunfair lashes and crossing glowing arms whispers gently, this 